First of all, you feel some way about your getting dropped, which you felt like we should have backed them more or whatever. Cool. But at the end of the day, bro, I'm going to just say this. There ain't nothing but just young. There ain't nothing but big 30 just feel us the type of way, bro. You got to read through that. There ain't nothing but they just feel us the type of way about his music or his, he thinking his star not going nowhere, bro. Like, big 30 will crash out, bro. You, so you, so you think he'll crash? He's so who you think is... He's proud to be a crash out. He's proud to be a crash out. Like, any nigga that can get online, yeah, nigga, you a rap nigga. So what? I was going to be a rap nigga, too. Yeah? I got more money than you. I'm fucking army, nigga. I make big... I'm, I'm a ambassador for the Memphis Grizzlies. You still in Kill Branch, nigga. I be that. We got to start making these young niggas feel stupid, nigga, for being a crash out. And don't nobody want to do that. We celebrate niggas who go make life, who go get life. We celebrate niggas yeah. who don't take life and give like get life. We don't celebrate niggas who just real deal man handling their business. This nigga tried to make fun and money bag yo for being a rap nigga. But this thing you just wanted to be when it was working out for you. Now it ain't working out for you. Now it's, I got real beef in the streets. I'm a certified step of boy. Nobody give a fuck about your beef. So what? You probably going to die in Memphis. I'm going to die in L.A. Oh, with all my kids. Okay, look, I always got a rebuttal to you. I got a rebuttal. Mm -hmm. Because you know, I, I want to be but you know how it is. Like, Man, how long they stand on 40? 40 no, right no, now. You get on. You get on. You get a deal. You know how that is. They are I've been there, done that. They both three niggas that came to the rap game and made it in the rap game. We not gonna leave out we street niggas. We doing this shit for the hood, we doing this shit for the homies, we doing this shit to go back and buy the hood and make it better. So where that that but I'm a stepper, I really do you he comes in like you was a store runner and you made it as a rapper. I am one of them and rapped about it and made it. You get what I'm saying? That's that game. Yeah but that's what the don't say I'm a crash out obviously because I love talking with crash out. I respect it though, because at the end of the day, you can't like like what I have heard about me that day, he can't go back to his city comfortably. He can't he can't like you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. But if, yeah, I get what you're saying, but let's be real here. Maybe just the older nigga in the topic. But at what cost do you really give a f about going back to your city? If it I mean, means you die. If it you means care, you, you care, you care when they holding up that persona though. You get what I mean? That's the persona. But money bag, but money bag, yo, low key just stepped away from that already. If you look at yeah. everything he do, he done low key stepped away from it already. But he's he really all just, his raps and everything that he says when he interviews and nah, he aimed to go back and buy it, and make it better, and get all the songs that was with him. I don't, you know, like that's some exactly. niggas. Some niggas take the 50 cent approach. I mean, some I don't say take the 50 cent approach. 50 cent go back to the hood. Some niggas take the I got out the hood by the hood. The hood ain't never do nothing good for me, but kill all my homies, put all my friends on dope, and, and drop everybody. Why the fuck would I want to keep going back to the hood? So you be happy, you little fat, with being in the hood for the rest of your life, and I'm gonna be over here. Ari, a millionaire, still dropping records, and you gonna be waiting on Big Thirty to come on, and you gonna be in Kill Branch probably dead. The way you move, sometimes being a, I hate, I'm thirty six, bro. I hate saying this. Sometimes being a, okay, bro. Sometimes looking at a nigga saying, sometimes hey, looking at a nigga. I don't agree with that. Being nah, a nah. What I mean by this, sometimes what I mean by that, sometimes what I mean by this, that's about How much are you willing to lose the beef with a nigga? Because you're willing to prove a point. How much are you willing to lose the beef with a nigga? And take this, mind you, this, this ain't just this, this a little nigga. How much I got more than everything to you? Why do I need to, have you ever seen a lion it's argue a with a cat? Hell no. That's what I'm saying. And, and bag like 30, bro. Bag being left the street. Bag was done with all the street and all that shit, bro. As soon as he signed with Gotti, bro, because Gotti was really the ops. His whole hood was on. Was on a, a money bag for even with Gotti, but he was done with that. Niggas, niggas yeah. said, "But I got, we got a bigger vision." Said, somebody just said you got to save lives, and it ain't. And that's not. That's just it. Ain't worth it because I'm a die or go to jail about it, and you gonna probably call the feds or call your cousin and feel like you got some type of rank off of having beef with me. So you feel me? That I feel exactly where game coming from. Like not even you, not even being. Then he's almost to die. Not even being. 
but just solely leaving it at man, dog, you ain't trying to go as far as I'm going, so it ain't nothing to talk about. You feel what I'm saying? Like, simple. I know blood was shed, though, and I think they, they said yeah. a lot of that was when Big 30 was going through it because when Newski died. Cause wasn't that his cousin? I don't know that relationship. I was, didn't was, know. That, oh, was that his cousin, Game? Huh? Was Newski Big 30's cousin? Aren't they related? I know he was extremely close to him. The only thing I'm saying is... Yeah, I knew they was close. I don't know what they were. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they Man, at some point, man, man, trust me, 40, I say this, I say some weird Nigga, let's say for instance, let's use this right now. Let's say for instance, right now, Pop Austin get a deal. We get a deal with Barcelona. We get a deal right now. We get a deal right now. Pop Austin, boom. Everybody get principal. We get some bread. We all on. We 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 moving around the way we want to, right? At a certain point, you gonna be like, man, I'm getting too much paper to be with you, little hoe. You hoe still at Austin. You hoe still off State Street doing dick. You all still in the lit lounge every weekend. Y'all ain't doing nothing. I'm up in. You ain't gonna debate. You ain't trying to be with nobody. You just got flew out. You just got flew out to interview Nicki Minaj. You just you, you forty just got requested to interview with Nicki Minaj. You don't care about what nobody's doing at Austin. When that's what I'm saying. When do it come when you bigger than that? I wish I would be with Big Thirty and I'm money bag yo. I got songs with Chris Brown. I just I just started a collection with Amiri. That's he got a collection. Sure, he got songs with Morgan Waller. He got songs. I got. I, I'm getting corporate money now. I could care less. I could care less about beefing with a nigga named Big Thirty who prides himself on being a crash out and probably be dead in two or three years if his home before his homie get out. But here's a here's a counter actor uh, counter to that. Isn't Big Thirty though? Uh, not Big Thirty. Isn't Money Bag the one sending keep sending the shots at Big Thirty on the songs doing the disses like the yeah. Airball diss, the most recent one, and that's when. Big Thirty was like, "Yo, or Money Bag Yo said, uh, was it Money Bag Yo that said that it, it took Big Thirty forever to get a hit or something like that?" And I've been doing it less. It's one of the yeah, other. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's still talking his little in his little shots, but now that's what I will. That's say. what it's gonna be. Now, now it ain't gonna go no say. deeper, no further that's than that. The, that's the big shit I don't like about it. Don't be the big nigga picking on the little nigga now. Don't be that nigga. Don't yeah. be that nigga. If you know you, if you know you, if you know you, if you know you gonna be mild man, be mild man. Don't don't act like you you with the in the whole time, like bro. You know if a nigga really catch your hat, you would rather not. About that. Yeah, that's all I'm. Now I will say yeah. that. Don't be that nigga. But it's the same thing. Like I said, that's like if we make we we all get a deal right now. We up M's. You up some M's. I'm up some M's. They up some M's. All that beat go out the window. I look at you, I look at you 40 when you trying to argue with a nigga, and I go off on you. You trying to go off on one of these little females in Austin, we up in. I look at you and be like, 40, it's different now. We getting money. What Thanks. are you doing? I look at you like you crazy. Nigga, you just got requested to go to go to go interview Nicki Minaj. Nigga, you about to do something. At, you about to do, you about to do one of the biggest podcasts. And you up. Uh, what are you doing? Even, are even, you even I mean, like, even without the podcast, without Pop Austin. It been that. That's why, like, a lot of people get it confused from when I be on live and when I be talking a post to me in real life. Like, I didn't did a lot, seen a lot, will do a lot. Don't care. You know what I'm saying? But the way I have to project myself, the way I will only project myself is not every single thing that I feel. You know what I mean? Like, I had to see see the influence that I really got from when I say stuff on social media, where it be here. Instagram, I gotta see that people really take me serious. People really like, ah, oh, damn, you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, how you feel? That's how you, when I just was, I'm blurting stuff out. I'm saying stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all ain't gotta, um, oh no. But yeah, you know what I mean? So it's like I had to bend change that, which I know a lot of people try to get into it with me, just not even just living in Austin. Like, I lived a lot of places before Austin. People will try to get into it with you. Just to say they got into it with you, like, or just to try to challenge your character, and you know what I mean, like, like I said before, certain stuff is not, not like that. It's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the comments. I could be crashing on the comments right now. I'm of course. Y'all don't know me. I'm not finna talk to you. Cause all y'all gotta do is ask me questions. I'm not finna crash out it. Nigga, y'all don't know who the fuck I am. You know who the fuck I am. I don't have to do that, bro. I don't have to do that. I walk in front of you and right. you know who I am. Without me telling you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. No, I feel like it's some experience with growth, though. That's how it goes. 40 getting it that's, down. You yeah. Feel, that's all I mean. But uh, like I say, dang, yo. I don't know what a nigga say. You ain't gonna put your hands on me. Other than that, I don't feel what Okay. 
Right, I don't care what you say. Honestly, I mean personally, I don't care what you say. Not for real. You, you, you can do you can talk online, game. you can do whatever. No, yeah, a comment. Hmm? A comment. Yeah, I don't care about none of this. Ain't nobody finna play with me. Yeah. Man, I'm on social media, dude. I, honestly, though, bro, honestly, though, bro, I just think, I just think 30, 30 and Pooh Sice just got that money, that fame a little too quick. They yeah, want, yeah. they want to remove from the trenches long enough to, to know how to handle yeah. it and what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you see what happened to Pooh Sice, They don't know what to do with them. That's why they dying, bro. A lot of these young niggas, you ain't, these niggas ain't never had serious. These niggas, what you do? What man? Even man, what do you do when you get these young niggas? I done seen it firsthand. I watched it with Double. Mm -hmm. I watched it with other artists. What do you do when it's a nigga? He 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 years old. He's never. He's been in a three bedroom and two bedroom with his mama and daddy his whole life. Maybe his mama, yeah. his whole life. Granny or somebody. Never, granny or somebody. He a oodles and noodles baby. All he knows is the trenches. You he make a couple of songs. He go to a label full of white people telling him he gonna be big, be the biggest thing. I'm trying to think biggest thing since Ti, biggest trapper ever. They just hyping him up, white people hyping him up. Give him a bag, bring him in with a nigga, bring a bigger nigga in, all that. Or in the in their cases, sign to a nigga that signed to some niggas, cause that's what Gucci is. That's what money bag, money bag yo is a nigga signed to a nigga that signed to a nigga. So now you really yeah. in fourth person. Niggas gotta look at situations too, bro. Stop signing the niggas. That's what the thing be too. If you're gonna sign to a label, go to the label. Stop going for the f with a nigga. Like, see him like, okay, yo, got him. I don't, you might not like what he got going on with your dog. Him as a CEO, he's one of the situations where I would be like, if an artist gonna be an artist, that's a, that's a nigga you go sign to. Why would you go sign to Kodak Black when he ain't even in charge of his own music career? Why would you go sign to Kodak, a nigga like Kodak Black when he ain't in charge of his own career? He don't even got sense. He don't, he don't even make the word Mike move his own career. He you expect him to be on point for yours? They don't work like that. So a lot of these niggas, like Big 30 would have been better off just being by himself, Big Blur or whatever, and signing to a label. But when you sign to a nigga that signs to a nigga, his ego's coming into play. Nigga, I put you on, nigga. I use my to get you in the game, nigga. I put you in the door, nigga. You really get my fans. That's what they then, then they get that. Then they get that. No coming. Positioning for one funny. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No splits. Use <laughs> you as a vessel, baby. This was gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. And so Thanks. think about it. it's it's an ego thing too. Niggas gotta really look at that shit. It's an ego thing too. Look, nigga, I know you don't think you better than me. Nigga, I put you on, nigga. I turned you up, nigga. The reason why you ain't got a hit is because of you, nigga. I'm money bad, yo. I make hits. You get what I'm yeah. saying? It's the ego thing. The only thing that ever worked out, the only thing that ever worked out, I can say, and niggas was like, um, I seen where a label, a peer-to-peer -peer situation worked, was OMB Peasy when he was signed to uh, E40. And I didn't even know OMB Peasy was signed to E40 damn near until he left. You get what I'm saying? Um, because E40 was the old nigga just, I, I think you holler, nigga, I'm a bitch wrong type. Other than that, it's rare. It's rare you find where here to here I signed to another rapper situation working, bro. Because nine times out of ten, if that nigga's still active, he's focused on his career, not yours. If he's yo, active, right. he's not worried about your career for real, for real. Yo, God, he's not active. Yo, God, he's not a nigga that I consider active no more. Yo, God, he dropped an album here and there when I feel like it. Go, go shine because he's more concerned with being a businessman. You know what I'm saying? Money bag is going to sign because God is more concerned with being a businessman. I'd rather make the deal on top of the deal. If I drop an album in a year or so, so be it. But right now, I, that's why Mozzie was a nigga like Mozzie signed to CMG. Because I'm already established, but I know this nigga God is focused on me as an artist. I, it, it makes sense. Hey man, it's your boy Big Game. You tapping in the Pop Austin Media. You like that content? Man, hit that like, subscribe button, and get in tune. For sure, for sure.